Agatha All Along is the book that ultimately reveals Joe Locke's teen identity the series has several hints leading up to this unexpected conclusion. Since making his screen debut in Seekest Thou the Road, the premiere of Agatha All Along, Joe Locke's new Messiu character has been concealed behind an enigmatic emblem. This prevented magical people including Teen and the members of Agatha Harkness's new witch coven from learning any private information about him. That is no longer the case, though. The conclusion of the fifth episode of Agatha All Along, Darkest Hour Wake Thy Power, seems to indicate that Joe Locke's teen is in fact, Billy Kaplan, also known as Wiccan, the son of the Scarlet Witch Reborn. The moment Teen unleashed his blue power, which Julian Hilliard's Billy Maximoff had already demonstrated in WandaVision, was amazing. Since his role in Agatha all along, Joe Locke's Wiccanism has been widely hypothesized, and the Phase 5 series has included several hints and evidence suggesting that Teen is Wicca. The Teen has the strength to break the Scarlet Witch's curse. The first indication that Teen was, in fact, a magic user of Wiccan, for example, came from her questioning him in Agnes O'Connor's appearance during their initial encounter with Agatha Harkness in Agatha all along. In the WandaVision finale, Agatha was imprisoned as Agnes by the Scarlet Witch. However, after Wanda Maximoff's death in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, this spell was twisted, warping Agnes' world in a manner reminiscent of a true crime thriller. But while being questioned, Teen does something really significant. Teen ultimately manages to break Agatha Harkness free from the Scarlet Witch's influence by using a chant to weaken the witch's hold on her. In Circle Sown with Fate Unlock Thy Hidden Gate, the second episode of Agatha all along, Agatha even asks Teen why he needs more strength when he already has the goods to break a spell cast by the Scarlet Witch. This established Agatha all along's destiny as a Wiccan and gave her the first hint that Teen was far more powerful than he was letting on. The Teen's signature resembles A.M. for Maximoff. Agatha Harkness and the other witches were kept in the dark about Teen's true identity in Agatha all along due to the presence of an odd emblem that concealed his identity. In Episode 3, through many miles of tricks and trials, Lilia Calderu verified that this is a sigil, a charm that conceals anything, in this instance concealing Teen from witchfolk. The design of Teen's symbol is likewise associated with the Scarlet Witch, and Agatha bemoans the fact that it is clumsy glamour, drawing analogies to Wanda Maximoff's self-identification as glamour in WandaVision Episode 2. Since Teen's insignia resembles the letter M in Billy Kaplan's Wiccan, is the reborn form of Billy Maximoff in Marvel Comics, suspicions that he is a Maximoff twin have been aroused. It's also possible that his face twisted in a way that gave the impression that he was identifying himself as Billy Maximoff behind the symbol, but this is just conjecture and hasn't been verified. Now that Agatha has discovered who Teen really is, his insignia appears to have vanished. 